Hey, how's it going everybody? Tim here, the frugal travel guru, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best place to sit on the Greyhound bus. This is a question I haven't been asked a lot, but it has been asked in the past. So in an effort to answer every question I've ever been asked about the Greyhound bus, I decided to make this video. So uh, first off, I just wanna say that if you are expecting to get on the Greyhound bus and kind of always to have the freedom to pick where you sit, uh, you're wrong. <laughs> just no other way to really say it. Most of the time you get on the Greyhound bus, you're just gonna have to find a seat wherever you can find one. Uh, every now and then, um, if you travel in Greyhound a lot, you might get on a bus that's, you know, uh, it's the first time the bus is, is, is the beginning of a route. So you might get on and there's really nobody on the bus, or you might occasionally be traveling in parts of the country where there's just never really a lot of people. Um, I feel like once you get out west, this happens a lot more. But most of the time you're going to get on the bus, there's going to be a ton of people that are already on the bus and you're just going to have to find one of the few seats left and sit down. However, if you happen to get on the bus and you get to pick, you know, what seat you want to sit in, there's a wide variety of seats in different locations on the bus available. I recommend sitting as close to the front of the bus as possible. This is what I do. Um, I usually skip like the first couple rows because that's kind of reserved for the elderly uh, and people with disabilities. And sometimes if you sit there and someone with a disability gets on, they'll move you. And that may mean you have to end up sitting in a totally different part of the bus. But I usually sit as close to the front after the first two rows as possible. And I have a very good reason for this. And that reason is all the craziness that goes on on the bus typically takes place middle of the bus and back. And that's because uh, most of the people who get on the bus and they want to be doing stupid stuff like drinking or acting stupid or smoking or just want to cause trouble, things like that. They're going to go as far to the back of the bus as possible because people who know they want to like be up to no good, try to stay as far away from authority as possible. And the only authority on the Greyhound bus is the driver. So people just, and I think sometimes they don't even consciously realize it, but you'll see people get on the bus and they go straight to the back. And it's typically where all the troublemakers go. They go straight to the back and they sit as close to the back of the bus as possible. So if you're sitting back there, you're gonna wind up with all of them. So I like to sit as close to the front of the bus as possible to get away from them. Uh, not only that, but if for some reason, you know, I mean that, Everything I just said isn't 100% always the case. Sometimes there are troublemakers, they sit near the front of the bus. But at least if you're sitting near the front of the bus, if they do start some trouble, the driver's right there. So it's not, you know, if you're in the back of the bus, something goes down, sometimes the driver doesn't always recognize something's going down. Maybe sometimes he or she doesn't hear it, they don't see it. But when you're up by the front of the bus, they're typically gonna hear it and see it as soon as you do. Not to mention if they don't, it's just a, easy to just be like, hey, bus driver, and they'll realize something's wrong. So that's another reason I love the front of the bus is if it's about to go down, right there's the bus driver, get their attention, super easy. They can pull the bus over, they can handle the situation, whatever they have to do. Another reason I like sitting at the front of the bus is um, <laughs> a lot of times when people do just like little annoying stuff, like having their music playing too loud or they're talking on the phone super loud. Uh, if these things annoy me, if I'm sitting up front near the bus driver, it's going to annoy him or her as well. And so typically the driver will say something like, hey, turn that music down or hey, don't talk so loud. Um, whatever someone's doing that's annoying me, uh, the driver is right there, uh, will usually nip it in the bud because they don't want to get annoyed while they're driving. So it just seems like a much quieter, more, peaceful atmosphere up near the front of the bus and to like a lot of like I said elderly people people with disabilities sit up near the front um just just a different vibe up there it's all the same bus it wouldn't seem like it'd be that much difference but it is so for me and I recommend it for you as well if you're planning a Greyhound bus trip sit as close to the front as possible I like it when I'm getting on the bus I'll look and I'm watching like the people who are getting off for good the people whose destination station it is, like I'm watching and if I see someone near the front, like grab their bag and pull it down and get off. As soon as I get on, I just plop down that seat right there. Like that's a little trick I use. And you'll notice like everybody else who gets on the bus, they're looking back. I don't know why this is. People always get on the bus, they head to the back and then you'll see some of them have to come back up because there's no more seats back there. I hop on the bus, 
first seat I can pass, uh, I can get to past those first two rows. Um, sometimes if there aren't any seats past those first two rows that I can see, I'll plop in one of those too. But typically first seats I can see past those first two rows, I jump and sit down. Um, and it just avoids a lot of that drama and the silliness and the stupidity and the noise that goes on in the back of the bus because I'm a little too old for that. I'm a grown man. I'm just, I'm just trying to ride this bus, get where I need to go. Anyway, so that's my answer to the question, where's the best place to sit on the Greyhound bus? If you have any more Greyhound bus questions or frugal travel questions or just any questions in general, uh, leave them in the comment box below. I will try to make a video answering them. I'm Tim. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.